Hi Pranav, thanks for your time today. Hey, and uh, as uh, I told you, this video might be recorded and posted on social media. Yeah. So I have your CV in front of me. I believe you are just a fresher, not even passed out of college, right? Yeah, sir. Currently yeah. pursuing my final year of engineering. Very interesting. And uh, you just told me that you already have two offer letters from different companies. Yeah, and sir. You have an interview in the third one today. So yeah. well, well done on that. Congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. All right. So tell me about yourself. Uh, what you have been doing so far? Uh, how how was your B Tech degree? Uh, in what did you do? And then we'll go okay. further. So currently, I'm pursuing my uh, computer science engineering uh, in the college called Reva University. My CTPA stands out to be nine point two, and uh, I, ha I have uh, like started to uh, work on DevOps, like uh, learn tools of DevOps from past uh, one year when I started my third year of engineering. Uh, the thing uh, why I got into DevOps is that uh, I started development uh, in the first year of my engineering only. Uh, but uh, coding and all, I tried for two years, then I didn't get a uh, lot of interest on that. Uh, so I thought to get into something uh, which is unique. So I just wanted mm -hmm. to stand out from the crowd from the college because uh, most of the college people would be sticking only to full stack development. Yeah. But uh, I thought uh, I wanted to be standing out from the crowd. I wanted to do something unique. So that's the what main reason uh, which uh, helped me to get two offer letters. So that's why uh, DevOps is the thing which I choose to be and uh, pursuing that. Very, very interesting choice that you made. And I think uh, it will pay you off uh, very handsomely. And uh, so how did you get the inspiration? So were your other friends also trying out for DevOps or did you just explore the technology yourself? So, sir, uh, to be frank, uh, uh, like in my college itself, and I have some few contacts from outside the college also, most of them, uh, like not most of them, 19% of them, no, like most of them doesn't know what is a DevOps basically. So yep. basically they're into development side only, uh, learning on Munstack applications, React and as such. So there uh, I got to know that uh, like this is not my cup of tea so let me hop onto something different so that's why i got it right and uh, so i've just shared your cv as well uh, so very very interesting uh, your, your cv and uh, i think the viewers on this channel will very much appreciate how you actually put up your cv and uh, the sort of experience and the projects and you are still in the in the final year yeah right so yeah, seven sem you said yeah seven sem right now okay right so Tell me about uh, tell me about this experience. So you you worked as a technical DevOps and cloud trainee. Yeah. So sir. what did you do in this uh, training? So, sir, basically, uh, the thing what uh, as I was a fresher, I don't know what is the company uh, atmosphere would be like. What all technology will be used? How uh, GitLab repo would be different from the normal GitLab we use? Basically, it will be having a lot of branches and all. So it was quite challenging for me at the starting of the project. Uh, yeah. It was a uh, it was a basically a job portal which we developed. Uh, same like Naukri and all what you see, it's completely the same thing. Uh, we were given the task of development at the starting of the internship because uh, what uh, I learned, what I got to know from other my uh, senior people is that uh, DevOps is the, the thing which, which you can't jump directly into. You should be having some hands-on experience on development part. You should be knowing what is development would look like, how would you develop things. So th basically, I worked on development site for two months where I developed a job portal with the help of a Munstack application. Mm -hmm. Once the development was done, uh, from past two months, I'm working on the deployment part where uh, first I uh, try to deploy it, uh, the application with the help of Docker. Yep. Then uh, um, I perform the CICD pipelines on that uh, with the help of Jenkins uh, and uh, was working on the Kubernetes part. Uh, how to develop. It's quite complex. Uh, so I have taken some time in uh, learning out things properly. Uh, so currently I'm working on that, uh, learning and trying to uh, deploy the application with the help of Kubernetes. Right. And how did you go in Kubernetes? Did you deploy in cloud? Did you deploy in Minikube? Sir, uh, currently I haven't deployed in Kubernetes. I'm just learning about the, uh, Kubernetes. I deployed with the help of Docker locally. Uh, the thing of deployment in Kubernetes, uh, currently working on that. Okay, right. Uh, how, how proficient are you in cloud? So at which cloud did you use? Sir, I have used AWS. I uh, have uh, practiced all my projects uh, and my like, complete hands-on projects are only on AWS. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know about GCP and Azure. I am good with AWS. And also I have completed my Udemy course on AWS. Uh, like I'm currently looking forward to give up my uh, AWS Cloud Practitioner exam too. Okay. That's that's good. I see that you already have some sort of certifications as well. Uh, yes, so you've got AWS Developer Associate course you've done a course okay from there and, and you've done a course in here 
All right, so you've done a couple of courses, but they are not really uh, certified from AWS, right? So a couple yeah, of courses sir. that you've done. That's why I'm looking out for the official uh, certification. Yes, and then that's what you should be doing as well. So as you go ahead, uh, keep on collecting the certifications because that make your credentials look pretty strong. Okay, right. So instead of making this an uh, interview question and answers, because uh, yes, one thing is that you are just you you haven't even passed out of college and uh, you already have two jobs, which says that you are, you already have potential. But uh, I would not be going for hardcore question and answers because. Uh, I understand that you're a fresher and you might not be able to answer the complex questions. So let's try to convert this session into, into some sort of, sort of your experience in searching the job. Because a lot of people nowadays who meet currently, they have their CV done, uh, but they're not even, even able to get one job. So tell me yes, about sir. your experience as to how you started preparing your CV. Is this hmm. something that you have written yourself or did you take any help of any... Uh, other website or other CVs? Yes, sir. I have uh, referred a couple of CVs uh, because mm -hmm. I wanted to tailor it as an experience because I don't want to uh, keep it as a fresher. Like, we just go to many uh, like uh, uh, website uh, resume uh, AI generators and all. It yeah. would be generating us uh, based on that. This is what uh, experience CV would look like. So I just wanted to make, make my CV in such a way that it should be appealing. Uh, it should stand out from the crowd. So yes. that was the main ideology behind that. And with respect to applying for jobs, looking out for jobs, currently everyone know that market is not going good. There is a lot of uh, job scarcity, not only in uh, market, even in my college also, there are like, uh, uh, it's a lot of uh, problem uh, uh, my friends are facing on to get into placement. So what I suggest is that uh, LinkedIn uh, is what I look for uh, because mm -hmm. uh, uh, two of my off-campus, off uh, I got it only through LinkedIn. So that was a main uh, tool which I prefer every month. And my LinkedIn CV also, uh, profile also, uh, like, attracted uh, two to three recruiters towards me. They pinged me up on LinkedIn. They asked me for an interview. I gave up my interviews. I was uh, have cleared the, with the help of LinkedIn only. Right. I haven't uh, used any other job portals. Okay. That's cool. So did you get an opportunity uh, for remote working or do you have to go to office? No, sir. Uh, both of them was uh, on-site only. I have to go to office. Okay. Uh, and, just and a suggestion you... from my end is that, uh, what I, uh, is that, I just look out for opportunities. Like in case, uh, now I see most of our freshers are the scenario is once you get placed, you'll be blocked from the placement cell. That's what everyone offers face. Even yeah. I face the same thing. Starting only, I just got a, a placement uh, in one of the company and I was blocked. Uh, the main issue we all face is that. So what I suggest is that uh, they, we would be getting other companies in our uh, uh, this one uh, college uh, portals and all. Just yeah. I'll tell you that you would be having your HR number in that. Just reach out to them, call out them, ask them for opportunities. And in case if you're having something good, if you're standing out from the crowd, you would be obviously given opportunity. That's what even I got, uh, one of the companies like that. Uh, I prefer that as a one of the trick which you can use. And second thing is not to stick on to one thing. Once you place in company, don't think that you have one more year, let's enjoy, let's not do that. Uh, even I prefer my juniors and my friends too that look out for opportunities. Uh, in case if you get or no, it's secondary, but looking out for opportunities would uh, make us uh, prepare well, uh, come out for the challenges we can face out. That's what I yep. prefer. Well, yep. That, and that that's the that's the best thing to do as well. Uh, now, coming, coming to your interviews, so when you yeah. faced your first interview, how did you prepare for it? So did you go a complete hands-on for the last couple of weeks for the interview? Did you actually do go yeah. theoretical studies? How did you do that? For on campus, basically, uh, there was no DevOps role for that. It was just a, a software developer role. That's it. Yeah. So uh, when it comes to software developer, first comes on with the coding part. Next are fundamentals like OOPS, computer networks, uh, operating system, and uh, DBMS, SQL, basically. Mm -hmm. So these were the four things. I am com uh, compatibly good in uh, other, my base subjects. I am good in theory-based subjects. I am good in uh, operating system and all. So it didn't take me a lot of time to prepare for that because from my third year only, I was uh, good at the subjects. So I was having that confidence that I will give up my best in that. Yeah. With respect to coding, I'm a little uh, weak in coding, as I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. So I gave a lot of time uh, in preparing coding stuff only. I focused mainly on RAS, strings, and linked list only because mm -hmm. uh, that was the basic uh, things which generally... Uh, as a fresher, they would be asking you upon. Yeah. So that was my main area of focus was coding, was a mm -hmm. software developer role. When it comes to DevOps role, uh, interviews which I gave, uh, I gave focus on hands-on, uh, uh, as, as you mentioned. I was uh, mm -hmm. performing CICD pipelines, was learning about Jenkins, how do, how, did, how the complete functionality happens, and deployment to Docker. 
and uh, mainly they would be asking what are the advantages of docker why do we need need to use a docker and uh, what is the devops application why generally the it prefer uh, devops now and uh, uh, cloud based uh, questions so that's why uh, i tailored myself in the such a way that based on the interview profile jd i has to prepare for that sir yeah very nice uh, now tell me about your interview experience so what happened in the first interview so did they did they ask you any questions and uh, try to intimidate you that uh, you are not aware uh, of it uh, 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 yeah How was it friendly so, it was like sir uh, what i believed is that uh, as i mentioned you devops uh, i was standing out from the whole college uh, my uh, like there were around 40 people shortlisted in on campus round mm-hmm. i was completely standing out from all of my friends because of only what called devops there uh, because uh, it was such a f- uh, fantasizing for me that uh, in the first round they asked me just the basic concepts on oops and all uh, operating system and all it was very easy for me uh, they asked me even a easy coding question too uh, but for my other friends it was like a complete one and a half hour round the same thing was the only the gave me liberty was because of devops and they asked me some easy questions on devops uh, very easy questions beginner level questions in the first round i cleared the first round second round uh, it was just a one to one uh, uh, speak uh, like i just uh, conversing with the manager we were speaking about the kubernetes how, what are the applications of that docker and uh, there was no question asked to me in the second round they were just uh, testing my uh, what all knowledge i have on kubernetes yeah. what all i know on uh, what mm-hmm. is csd basically all basic questions were asked on my yeah. second round so there was no such uh, uh, difficult uh, thing to me to clear it was very and, easy for me to come and this this, this this was uh, one of your campus placement interviews right yeah this was okay. one of my campus interview uh, in one one of the on campus com- uh, company which they approached me through linkedin uh, on the first round uh, they asked me what all tools i know on devops so i just gave them a list of tools which i had learned on devops and they started to ask me on uh, okay now docker uh, tell me the advantages of docker why do we need to use a docker same thing in jenkins ansible uh, same thing each and every tool they gave me around 15 to 10 minutes to explain what i know about that mm-hmm. that was first round it was very easy on that uh, and they asked me about uh, cicd and all in the second round they asked me quite the things on kubernetes like architecture of the kubernetes yep. uh, what do you understand by and what is the features of kubernetes uh why do uh, it has uh, gained a lot of popularity right now uh, this is the basic question which was asked in the manager and cicd right. pipelines i i just uh, wrote like showed them how to write a doc, like a uh, docker files and all i just uh, wrote them and explained each and every line how does it uh, function yeah. what is the importance of each and every line yeah. and i just wrote them up that that one cool did they ask you any questions on uh, aws specifically yeah sir uh, uh thing was that i have my project on aws in my resume i have based it on so uh, they were just asking me i have mentioned about uh, amplify uh, lambda what is the api gateway why yeah. do you need a api gateway and uh, what is the importance of iam roles in aws and uh, i had I have worked on ec2 most of them so they were asking me uh, what are inbound outbound roles why do they why do you use that and uh, basic questions on that that's it okay and uh, so you have a third interview today uh so is it is it also the campus placement interview or no sir no sir that's why i said you campus i'm blocked uh, i can't yeah. uh, apply to any other company uh, i'll be just uh, searching on linkedin uh, trying to connect with people as i said you in jd i'll just try to scan yeah. the num- uh, recruiter number i'll be just this is my off campus interview today okay and that is also based in bangalore yeah, yeah it's based on bangalore it could be completely on devops role only yes uh and uh, i think the questions might be very very similar uh, because the option of a questions to the fresher is also very limited because yeah, we sir. we can't we can't ask you about any of your past experiences so the most of the questions they just turn around as to whatever you have written in the cv uh, do you really understand about them so and i think you are pretty much confident about it because you have already cleared two round of interviews on the same uh, on the same skill sets so i believe that it should be uh, it should be very streamlined and it should be a very very similar type of experience that you would have